hello welcome back so for today's tutorial we are going to make a couple of bears so i have already made the first bear so now we are going to make the second bear together so let's get on to the tutorial the materials needed are two five ply yarn the white one is for the bear and the pink one is for the blushers then i'll use this chunky purple yarn for the bow i'll be using four milliliter crochet hook then you need two stitch marker a scissors and a darning needle Lastly, this keychain, but if you don't have that, I will be showing an alternative using just yarn. So we are going to start by making a magic ring, so just grab onto the end of your yarn with your thumb and middle finger, then wrap it around your two fingers like this, sort of making an X shape. Now just hold on to the yarn with your ring finger, now take your crochet hook, insert it through the first loop and grab onto the second loop, and twist it up as you go up like this. Now just grab onto your yarn and pull through the loop right here. So now we are going to insert 8 single crochet into the magic ring. So we are going to make an X stitch single crochet. So to do that, you are going to insert your hook into the magic ring. Yarn under like this. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through 2. So just repeat this step until you have a total of 8 single crochet in your magic ring so now i have a total of 8 single crochet in my magic ring so we're going to pull the end right here to close the middle completely so just pull it until there is no more hole in the middle like this so now this is your first stitch you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch the first stitch is usually a bit tight so i will just use my finger to help insert it to my crochet hook so i am going to work over the ends so that i don't have to move it in later now we're going to insert one single crochet in the first stitch now we're going to take your stitch marker and mark the first stitch so for every round you will have to mark every first stitch this is really important so that you can keep track of your round now insert your hook into the second stitch and insert one single crochet so go ahead and insert one single crochet in every stitch until the end of this round three so in the end you will have a total of eight stitches four five six seven and eight now we are done with round two so now you're just going to flip your work inside out so that it's facing the right side so it should look like this it kind of look like a dome right now so you're just going to repeat the same exact step which is inserting one single crochet all around for two more rounds so i'll see you once you are done with round three and round four so now that i have done with round three and four what you're going to do is you're just going to cut your yarn and then pull through and remove your stitch marker Then, you're just going to insert your hook into the first stitch right here where we just remove the stitch marker and grab your yarn and pull it through. Then, insert your hook again into the last stitch of this round right here and grab onto your yarn and pull it through. And then, just tighten it up. And then insert your hook again through the first stitch of this round and pull through so the reason why we do this is so that our work stay in place when we join the two legs together so just insert your hook again through the last stitch of the round and grab onto your yarn and pull through so now that you have done the first leg you're just going to repeat the same exact step for round one and four but instead you're not going to cut your yarn just let it be until round four and i'll see you once you're done so now i have done crocheting the other leg as you can see i have 
two of the legs right now so this part is going to be a little confusing for beginners out there so i will do this slowly with you guys and if you guys do need help you guys just comment down below and i'll try my best to help you now once you have done all of the round you're going to join the legs together so for this other leg you're going to chain one instead of cutting it so just chain one now you're going to take one more stitch marker and mark this chain one So you're just going to mark it because in this chain later on we're going to do an increase meaning that we're going to insert two single crochet in one stitch so that part is going to be a little confusing because you are not going to see the chain clearly so this is why it is better for you to mark it with a stitch marker now you're going to take the other leg and you can just insert your hook anywhere in the stitches i'm just going to insert it right here make sure that the yarn is outside like this not on the inside like this okay not on the inside like this but inside is going to be outside like this now you're going to make one single crochet so just insert one single crochet and then you're just going to take the other stitch marker that we used to mark the first stitch of the other leg and mark this first stitch that we just did so this is going to be your first stitch and this one is your chain one so it's better to use two different colors of stitch markers so that you don't get confused now you're going to make seven more single crochet so basically you're just going to insert one single crochet in in the next seven stitches then this is the second stitch so two also i am carrying the end right here so that i don't have to weave it in later two and then in the next stitch three four five six seven and eight so this is our first stitch right and this one is our chain one so this is the bottom of my chain one right here i am going to insert my hook at the back bum right here so i'm just going to show you let me just explain it to you so that you can see better so this v shape is going to be at the front and then at the back you can see there is kind of like this back bum that is where you're going to insert your hook into so i'm just going to check off this green stitch marker and then at the bum right here just insert your hook and make an increase so one so meaning you're going to insert two single crochet in the same stitch so one and two now taking your stitch marker again you're going to mark the front of your chain right here then you're going to insert one single crochet in the next eight stitches okay so this one is not the stitch that we will work on because as you can see there is one single crochet in there already so you're going to insert your hook into the stitch where there is no single crochet on top so just insert them into the next stitch make one single crochet one so just continue making the single crochet until you have made eight single crochet three four five six seven and eight so now this is your chain one so remove your stitch marker and insert two single crochet into the chain one so just insert your hole and insert two single crochet one 
and soup so now this is how the teddy bear legs looks like so we have done the tricky part so now we are going to move on to round six this is where we did our first stitch in the last round so just remove it and insert one single crochet into this stitch and then take your stitch marker and mark it again so now for this step we're just going to insert one single crochet in all of the stitches so in the end you will have a total of 20 single crochet 3 4 five six seven eight now you are just going to continue the single crochet until the end so now we have done round six so you are going to repeat this step which is inserting one single crochet in all of the stitches until round eight so basically you're going to continue this step for two more rounds so now i have done round seven and round eight now we're going to move on to round nine now first we're going to do a decrease so to do a decrease this is the back loop right and this one is the front loop so you're just going to grab onto the front loop of the first stitch and then grab onto the front loop of the second stitch so now you have one, two, and three loops on your hook. So now you're going to yarn under and pull through the first two loops. And then you have two loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through the two loops. So that is going to be your decrease. Now just mark the first stitch with your stitch marker. Now insert your hook into the second stitch right here. And make one single crochet. So you're going to insert one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So we have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight now we are going to do another decrease so grab onto the front loop of the next stitch and then grab onto the front loop of the next stitch and then yarn under and pull through the first two loop yarn over and pull through two now continue making eight single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight now for the next round we're just going to insert one single crochet in all of the stitches so now just make one single crochet then mark it with your stitch marker so just continue inserting one single crochet until the end of this round so in the end you will have a total of 18 single crochet now moving on to round 11 remove the stitch marker and insert one single crochet in the first stitch and mark the first stitch then you're going to do a decrease So the pattern for this is you're just going to insert one single crochet and then a decrease then after you have done that you're going to insert one single crochet again and then a decrease so you're just going to repeat this pattern which is one single crochet and a decrease until the end of this round so again one single crochet and one decrease one single crochet and then one decrease 
So I have done round 11. Now this is the part where we are going to stuff the body. You're just going to take your stuffing and stuff the body evenly. Just stuff it until it is totally full. And I am going to see you once you have done stuffing the body. So I have done stuffing the lady bear body as you can see. So we are going to move on to round 12. So remove your stitch marker. So in the first two stitches, you're going to insert one single crochet. So insert one single crochet in the first stitch and then mark it with a stitch marker. And then again, insert one single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to do a decrease. So just make one decrease. So you're going to repeat this pattern of two single crochet and one decrease until the end of this round. Again, insert one single crochet into the next two stitches. Two, and then make one decrease. And then make two single crochet one and two and then make one decrease so now we are going to move on to the head part so remove your stitch marker and we are going to make one single crochet in the next stitch so just insert one single crochet and mark the first stitch as usual and in the next stitch we're going to insert an increase so insert your hook into the next stitch and insert an increase meaning you're going to insert two single crochet in the same stitch two and then we're going to insert one single crochet in the next stitch and then insert one single crochet again in the next stitch and then you're going to insert an increase meaning you're going to insert two single crochet in the same stitch so one and two and then insert one single crochet in the next two stitches one and two and then insert an increase one and two and then insert one single crochet in the last stitch now for round 14 you're going to insert two single crochet in each stitch meaning that you're going to insert an increase for every stitch So this is my first single crochet in this stitch. Now I'm going to insert one more single crochet in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch, insert two single crochet. One and two. And then in the next stitch, insert another two single crochet. One and two. So basically, you're just going to insert an increase until the end of this round. So now I have done all of the increases. Now for round 15 to round 18, you're just going to insert one single crochet in each of these stitch. I'm just going to continue inserting one single crochet in every stitch for this round. So insert your hook and insert one single crochet and mark the first stitch. Then just continue inserting one single crochet in each stitch until the end of this round. So in the end, you will have a total of 24 stitches.
so right now this is how it looks like so now you're just going to continue this step which is inserting one single crochet in each of these stitch for three more rounds so basically round 16 round 17 and round 18 you are going to do the same step which is inserting one single crochet one single crochet in each of these stitch so i will see you once you have done all three rounds so now i have done it until round 18 so now we're going to move on to round 19 so remove the first stitch marker so in the first stitch you're going to insert a decrease so grab onto the first front loop and then the second front loop and pull up a loop and over and push you two so just mark the first stitch and then you're going to make two single crochet meaning you're going to insert one single crochet in the next two stitches so one and two so you're going to repeat the pattern of one decrease and two single crochet until the end of this round so just make one decrease and then two single crochet one and two and then again one decrease and two single crochet one and two so just keep doing that until the end of this round so now that you have done round 19 we're going to move on to round 20 so remove your stitch marker and insert one single crochet into the first stitch and then mark it again then you're going to do a decrease And then in the next stitch, insert one single crochet and then make a decrease. So again, you're going to repeat the pattern of one single crochet and one decrease until the end of this round. So now we are going to stuff the head. So you're going to stuff this and I'll see you once you are done stuffing this. So now I have done stuffing the head. So right now this is what it looks like. So now we are going to move on to round 21. You just remove your stitch marker. So for round 21, what you're going to do is you're just going to do a decrease until the end of this round. So basically, you are going to do 6 decreases. So I'm going to do a, the first decrease. And mark it with my stitch marker. And then the second decrease. Two. Three. Four. five and the last decrease and six so now we are left with this small hole so i'm going to show you how to close this off so you're just going to cut your yarn kind of like this long so just push you and remove the stitch marker now taking your darning needle we're going to use our darning needle to close the top completely so this is our first stitch right here right? so we have one two three four five six stitches so we are going to insert your darning needle into the front loop of this stitch so this is the back loop and this is the front loop so you're just going to insert your darning needle into the front loop of the first stitch so one two three four five and six now you're just going to pull your yarn until the hole close completely so there is no more hole in the middle now there is kind of like some bum right here as you can see 
So just insert your needle at the center and pull through any way you like. Again, you're just going to insert it into the same space where you pull through. Then I'm just going to repeat the same step to flatten out the bump. Again, I'm just repeating the same step to make sure that it's totally flat. So yeah, there is no more bump. So this is how it looks like. So now we're just going to cut your yarn. Then you're going to push in the excess yarn into the teddy bear into the head so you can just use anything for this i'm just gonna use a plastic needle since i find it easier this way so now we have done the body and the head so now we're going to move on to the ears and hands so to make the hands we're going to do a magic ring so just make your magic ring Then, you're going to insert 6 single crochet into the magic ring. And we are still going to use the X stitch single crochet. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then, you're going to pull the end so that the middle close. So just pull it until there is no more hole in the middle. So this is your first stitch. So insert your hook into the first stitch. Again, the first stitch is going to be a little side. Then again, I am going to carry the end so I don't have to weave it in. Then you're going to insert one single crochet in every stitch. Again, you're going to mark every first stitch of the round so that you can keep track of your rounds. So, for round 2, you're just going to insert 1 single crochet in every stitch. So, you will have a total of 6 single crochet by the end of this round. 3 4 5 and six so you're just going to continue inserting one single crochet all around for four more rounds so basically you're going to do that for round three four five and six so now i have done all six rounds so now we are going to remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch into the next stitch right here and then chain one then we're going to cut a really long cells because we are going to sew that on to the bear later on so just cut it and pull through and tighten up the chain one so that your project won't unravel later on so now you're going to make one more piece of this hand so you're just going to repeat the same exact step as before and then we are going to move on onto the ears so now i have two of the teddy bear hands now we are going to do the ears so to do the ears we are going to do a magic ring again then we're going to insert eight single crochet into the magic ring so one two three four five six seven and eight then just pull the ends so that the middle close completely now we're just going to chain one and cut your yarn so just cut about this much long because we are going to sew it on top of the bear head later on now just pull through and tighten up the chain one so that your work won't unravel so this is how we will make the bear ears so just repeat this step and make one more of the ears 
now we are going to sew on the hands however i am not going to show you step by step on how to sew it on because there is really no right or wrong on how you want to sew it this is just how i sew it so i am going to fast forward this video so this will just act as a guide for you guys So that is basically how I sew in the hands. Now we're going to do the same exact step for the ears. There is just no right or wrong. You can just sew it on however you like. This is just my way of sewing it on. I'm just going to make sure that it's aligned to the side right here. Now I'm just going to take the end of my magic ring and pull it through the place where I just pulled through. This is just going to make it easier for me to cut it and then push it in into the head. Then I'm just going to cut the excess yarn and with my plastic needle, I'm going to push in the excess yarn into the bear to hide it. For the eyes, nose and mouth, I'm going to use this brown yarn. So I'm just going to use this bear as my guide from the top head. You're going to count 5 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then on the 6th row, that is where the eyes is. So it's counting for the other bear. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is going to be where the eyes is. Then there is 1, 2, 3, and 4 spaces in between of the eyes. So you can sew on the eyes at place you find suitable and make 4 spaces in between them. So I'm going to fast forward this video and sew in the eyes so that this can act as a guide on what you have to do.
then i also tied up some bow onto the bare neck because it just looks so much more cuter this way lastly if you guys don't have this keychain thingy i don't know what you guys call this but if you guys don't have this i'm going to show you an alternative which is a yarn first cut your yarn and thread it in into your darning needle then you're just going to go through the center of the head and pull through all So just pulling through then take the yarn and tie a knot on top then what you're going to do is just cut the top part as close as possible now just pull the yarn from the side so that the knot that we did is resting on top of the head then push in the knot into the head to hide it but i'm not going to do it because i'll be using the keychain thingy so if you guys are doing this alternative that i show you you are going to push in the knot inside the head so this is how it's going to look like if you use this method so that is all thank you for watching and i'll see you again